Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1535. Hey, we want to make the calculation average daily revenue. And we're going to have a battle, a battle between Office 365 dynamic arrays and old Excel with just a straight array formula. And both of these formulas will use some ifs. But in the old Excel, we use indirect. In the new Office 365, we use sequence. Indirect row or sequence. Let's go check this out. I'm on the sheet 1535. This Excel workbook could be downloaded in the link below the video. Hey, here's our data set. We have date, product, sales, and customer. Here's our start and end date, which we have. And we need to calculate average daily revenue. Now, the problem with calculating the daily part of this is if I were to just use average ifs and say all of the dates greater than or equal to the lower and less than or equal to the upper, well, then I would get a transactional average. What I actually need to do inside the formula is make sure for each day in the month that I first add up the sales. Then once I have the totals for every day from 1 to 31 for January, then I calculate the average. Now, in many of the DAX and Power Query videos in the MSPTDA video series I've been doing lately, we have made these calculations with DAX using the average x function. But if we don't have a gigantic data set, it's straightforward and easy to make this calculation with an Excel spreadsheet formula. And we have maybe 3,000 records here. Now, in older versions of Excel that don't have Office 365 dynamic arrays, well, we first need to generate each one of the days in the month as we copy our formula down. And those days will be the conditions or criteria for some ifs to add the daily totals. So in older versions, we would simply take the start date, and we would join it in double quotes with a colon, end double quotes, and join it again to the end date. Now if I hit the F9 key, that gives me the serial number dates. But notice the colon is just like cell reference to cell reference. So Control Z, I can put that inside of the indirect function. Indirect takes text, which that is, and converts it to a legitimate reference. F9, that gives me all the values from all the cells in all those rows, which happen to be all zeros. Control Z. But if I wrap the row function around that, not rows with an S, just row, it'll list the rows in that reference. F9. And there's my dynamic array of serial number dates. So as I copy this down with a different start and end date, I will always have the correct list of serial number days as conditions or criteria for some ifs. Control Z. Now I can do some ifs, some range. Well, I'm trying to add table formula nomenclature. That's the table name. And in square brackets, that's the field name comma, criteria one range. I need to look through the date column, comma. Now, this is a special type of operation. Since this formula element is delivering multiple answers, it instructs the sum ifs to deliver multiple answers. Because there's one of each day we want, sum ifs will deliver the added total of sales for each day. Now, this is called a function argument array operation, close parentheses. If I hit the F9 key, now I have my daily totals. Control Z. Now I simply put it inside the average function. Come to the end, close parentheses. Now in earlier versions, you have to use the special keystroke Control Shift Enter to get this to calculate correctly. And you have to look up to the formula bar to make sure those curly brackets are put in. And I'm going to copy this down. If you happen to have the latest Office 365 dynamic arrays with the new Excel Calc Engine, you don't have to use Control Shift Enter. But you're probably not going to want to use this formula because a couple things. It's a little bit more complicated to, to create 
The indirect function is volatile, which means it recalculates any time you do anything. Now let's see how to do this in the new Office 365. We're going to use a new dynamic array formula called sequence. Sequence delivers an array or sequence of numbers. Now, how many numbers do we want? Well, guess what? As we copy the formula down, here I want 31, then I want 28, 31, and so on. So I'm simply going to use the day function. Look at the end date, and that will always tell close parentheses rows in sequent how many rows we should have in this delivered array, comma. Columns, I'm going to leave that empty because we just have one the start. Well, guess what? I'm going to point to the start date because underneath is a serial number that will tell us exactly which number we want this sequence of numbers to start at, comma. And then step will be 1, close parentheses. Now I'm going to hit Enter because in older versions, we always had to hit F9 to look and see what this delivered, Control-Z. But when you're in the new Excel, if you hit Enter, you can see visually what that formula element is delivering. Now I have currency as a number formatting here, but you can see clearly it's delivering the 31 serial dates for January 2017, F2. And now we're going to use sum ifs. The sum range, sales, comma, criteria range, date, comma. There's our function argument array operation, which will instruct sum ifs if I hit Enter. Now it's delivering as a spilled array all of the daily totals for each day in January 2017. F2, we want to average those. So we simply throw those into average. And the beautiful thing about the modern Excel is that it understands what the formula delivers. Earlier, when we just did some ifs, it was delivering multiple items. So it spilled. But here, since it's delivering a single answer, Control-Enter, it knows to just deliver that single answer. Double click and send it down. Go to the last cell, and there we go. Now, with Office 365 dynamic arrays, sequence and day is probably a little bit easier to calculate our average daily revenue. But of course, if you want to do it the old-fashioned way, there's indirect, which is volatile, and row. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is fun. All right, we'll see you next video.